Here we're going to evaluate this greatest integer function. We're asked to plug in a negative 3.5 in x's place. So let's go ahead and do that. Once we do that, we then need to multiply. Because notice any time they are sandwiched together, that means they're being multiplied. So 7 times negative 3.5, which is going to equal negative, what, 24.5. And now we're going to combine negative 24.5 with negative 5. The signs are the same. Keep the sign and add the numbers. That's going to give us negative 29.5. And now that we have it to where it's one number, we, we need to find out what is the greatest integer output here. What is the greatest integer less than or equal to negative 29.5? So take a look at the number line. We know negative 29.5 would be somewhere between negative 30 and negative 29. So remember, we round down. So our output would be negative 30.